Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to part eight of The Sims 2 University LP. Uh, currently, we are at Amelia's Garden in Blue Water Village, which Blue Water Village came with Open for Business. That's the Open for Business world. It's great. It's awesome. Love Blue Water Village. Later in the LP, like not university, but later <laughs> in the LP. We will end up probably owning some property here in Blue Water Village. Who knows? It might even be Amelia's Closet for all we know. Who knows, right? We came here with Yvette. Somebody actually told me that I'm like totally pronouncing her name wrong. And I'm like 99.8% sure I probably am. Um, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like Yvette or something. But I like Yvette. It just sounds good. So we're going to go with Yvette. Yvette Gray. We haven't really got to bond with Yvette too much yet. And, you know, I really do want to. So we're definitely going to have to get to know her a little bit. We came really close with Remington and Lauren. But we have yet to with Yvette. Another person I do want to get in connections with is this guy right here. Avery. If that's how you say his name. I don't know. But um, he, you know, he complimented us on our drumming. And he just seems kind of cool. So... I mean, I'm down to hang out with him. Why not, right? Or college students. We can do whatever we want. We're young, wild, and free. Wiz Khalifa hit the song. I'm kidding. Um, but we're actually here to buy some new clothes. And what the hell is she doing? I thought she was like, doggy position to take a dump like a dog. But look who it is. It's Matthew Picasso. Picasso, not Picasso. What am I doing? It's Matthew Picasso, my boy from my duo current household. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Somebody needs to stop me. Anyways, um, so, yeah, we have some new clothing options. Um, let's see what, well, I mean, we don't have new clothing options. I just thought we would pick up a new outfit. Um, since, you know, it's springtime, everything's blooming and it's new. Why not get Amanda some new duds? Why not? I don't know why that's in my closet because <laughs> I never, ever purchased that. Um, hmm. Let's see, let's see. These are here really cute, really simple. But I feel like these are mm, just not Amanda. They're just not Amanda. This is definitely not Amanda. <laughs> This one's kind of cute. I do like these ones. They're very springy and fresh, but I don't think I would see her in this either. I don't know. She just, her, the clothing, the way I see Amanda, she's very, very, very simple. Like, she doesn't need anything too crazy. Like, this is these little boots. These boots are made for walking. That's just too much for Amanda. Oh, my gosh. This freaking dress. Oh, is to die for oh my goodness amanda amanda <laughs> have you guys ever seen house bunny amanda <laughs> if you have then you know what why i just did that life is a bear <laughs> um none of these look like amanda i'm, I'm getting a little disappointed oh uh, this one kind of is a nice little spring dress it's really really simple and really cute oh j oh my gosh we literally can afford nothing we can afford one outfit, and then we were, like, broke. Wow, okay, did not realize we were that broke. <laughs> it's just, that's, like, really sad. Okay, well, I know the outfit that I want, so we're good to go. We're fine. Um, wow, okay. Uh, so, we can only buy one outfit, and we can't afford to, like, even buy a coffee or go out to dinner with the event. We just we can't do it. We can't. Because we bought a new outfit. That's what's important, everybody. Um, so, Yvette, where are you going, girl? She's out here to play some darts. Ooh, okay, yeah, that's definitely some way that, you know, they can bond is to go play some darts. Look at Matthew. 
Oh my goodness. That's literally how I laugh in real life though. Like if somebody cracks me up, like I can't take it. I, I can't. I like literally laugh in somebody's face. My friends make fun of my laugh because I mean my laugh is the same laugh as on here but sometimes it gets out of control and it's like full-blown hyena mode. It's like, <laughs> that's like, that's like the best way I can describe it is like, <laughs> it's like it just keeps going and going and going and just I'm a laugher. I am. I like to laugh. It's great. <laughs> um, yeah. I like laughing. My brother's laugh. His laugh goes right through me. I feel like when my brother laughs, I feel like literally somebody's jabbing me in the head with a knife. Like, it's horrible. It's like, <laughs> oh my god. That was probably the most annoying thing ever. I'm so sorry. Only people who have heard his laugh will understand that I literally just want to just die when he speaks. Love him to pieces, but that boy need that boy is 21 and has yet to hit puberty i swear that boy's i love you if you're watching i love you though i love you to pieces you're literally the best brother ever stay stay beautiful and if you're like seriously if you're watching just don't take offense to this i love you um yeah fun fact about my brother since, you know, he's probably watching this. Or he can probably hear me. He was actually supposed to be a dwarf. True story. Oh, look, we have, like, an audience. He was supposed to be a dwarf. Um, he, my mom, like, you know, I don't know, they, like, tested her and everything, you know, just to make sure my brother was okay. And the dwarf test, I don't know what test that is, but apparently there's, like, a test for dwarves. Um, it came back positive. It came back positive, and let me tell you, my mom cried, my dad cried, because they thought they were going to have a dwarf. He's short, but he's not a dwarf, so you know what, buddy? You got that one. You got that one. See, even Yvette's, like, shocked that he came back uh, on the dwarf test. Yeah. Love you if you're watching. Now everybody knows you're kind of sort of a dwarf, but not really. <laughs> so random. Anyways, so... We're going to joke around and what the hell is bust to move? <gasps> Who are you? Leo. Leo. I thought he was like a professor. I was going to be like, hey. And this is so dangerous. This guy's like throwing darts through Yvette right now. Like literally jabbing it in her ear. Ooh. A man la 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 lard. What? Woo! Woo! Amanda. We're like in a crowd of people. <laughs> Busting moves. Everybody around them is probably like, ugh, college students. <laughs> this old lady's like, take me back to my old days. He is loving it. He's like, college girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> Vin, or if that's even her name, is just like, take me back to the days. Take me back. She reminds me of Orange is the New Black. Oh, I'm so addicted. <laughs> I'm watching the final two episodes of season two tonight. I'm super excited. Um, so let's see. Um, ooh, I can influence her to fight somebody. I don't think anybody here is fight worthy. Don't. I don't. I really want to do it, though. I should. Let's see. Who should I have her fight? Think I'm gonna have her fight. Nobody here. Nobody here is good enough to fight. In all honesty, um, Gilbert Jaquat. 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 He owns a um, a bakery here in Blue Water Village. So he's rolling in dough, and I think he's pretty cute. If you ask me, I think he's good looking. Um, maybe Amanda will end up with him, maybe not, because his eyebrows are bleached like he's on the magazine covers. Um, I've seen that a lot lately, actually. Let's go somewhere else. I've seen that a lot, people bleaching their eyebrows for, like, magazine covers. I think it looks really, really neat, especially Miley Cyrus's. If you guys have seen that, I think it looks really neat, and I think Miley rocked it. So, you go, Miley. You go. Um, let's go to another lot. Actually, we have class in an hour, don't we? Oh, no, we're not on campus. 
we're not on campus, so we can't go. Let's go to campus so we could possibly go. <laughs> we'll go to... We'll go to the quad, and I will... No, because by the time she gets back, we'll probably be kind of late. Um, But she has to go to the Sim State University so she can go to class. What we will do is we will go hang out at... We don't have any money <laughs> to do anything. So we'll go to the gym. Why not? We'll... Why is everybody be admired? Be greeted. They're like, we just saw a pretty girl. We're just going to all talk to her. No, but she is going to head to the gym and head to class, hopefully, and then um, maybe work out. I don't know if we've already missed it. Hopefully, we haven't. So I guess we're leaving Yvette behind. <laughs> I I'm sorry, Yvette. We're friends now. It's it's all good, Yvette. Um, we'll give her a call later on. But yeah, we're gonna see if that works out. Hopefully, so we'll see okay, you guys. So here we are at the university gym. It's just a very open, wide gym. You can even buy clothes here. Man. <laughs> um, let's see. I think we can still go to class. I think we can. I think we can. We can. We could. So we're going to head to class for like the one hour that we got. <laughs> we're literally running. Um, so, I mean, it's one hour. We can just wait it through. It's literally no time at all. What's going on? Look at all the Sims here. Oh, they're so, they're all so unique. Look at this Sim, Allegra Gore. She seems pretty neat. Laura, you need to take your hat off. That's from 2001, sweetheart. <laughs> Fashion Police 101. Actually, I've seen people bringing those back. Like, there's this kid who wore a hat like this. And he was like, it's polo. It's so worth it. I was just like, that is from literally Cheetah Girls. Cheetah Girls 1, the original. Take the hat off. Or you have to be a cheetah girl. One or the other. <laughs> I'm Joan Rivers, everybody. And this is Fashion Police. Um, yeah, she should be getting out of class any second. Where is she? There she is. <clears throat> so, let's see. She's now officially passing. We have 31 hours until our final exam. So, we're going to go work out a little bit. And... I don't know, work on her legs, tune them a little bit. See, I've been wanting to work out, but I just, I like, I get in workout attire, I get ready, I'm like, let's do it. And then I just kind of not do it. <laughs> so, I have a problem. We still need to throw our little sports party. I really want to. I think it'd be fun. We have, we definitely have to do it. We're a junior now. We have to throw one. Oh, and the Good Witch is here. Yay. Yay. We better get out of here before the bad witch comes and, like, literally kills us. Because I swear, she pops up every time. So she's going to go eat a little something-something. Because, oh, we can even work the cafeteria here. You know what? We kind of need to. We're literally, like, broke. Um, it's so we're going to work in the cafeteria. I paid her bills and all that good stuff, though. So, you know, we just need to work. Bad. So Amanda's going to work the food kitchen here at the gym for just a little bit because we need the money. So we definitely have to make the, make the Dean's List uh, this time around. Um, so we can earn those extra smolians and bring our GPA up just a little bit. Uh, so yeah, guys, what we're going to do is... Oh, I guess she's... Oh, she's still working. I'm going to go ahead and have her work for another two hours or so, and then I'm going to have her head home, go to sleep, all that good stuff. So, I will see you guys um, probably tomorrow morning. Already? I will see you guys then. Holy fudging shush bobs. No, Amanda! She's about to be late to her final exam. She just finished writing her term paper. She has to run. And she's not running. She's walking. Amanda, do you not understand that you are late to your final exam? She's late, and it's making me want to cry, but look at her cute little dress. I love it. 
Yeah, but oh my goodness. She just, literally just finished her term paper. Um, let me tell you, I was scared. This is Amanda's last semester of junior year. Last chance to change her major. Amanda finished the semester with an A+. Plus. Yay. Um, our GPA didn't go up. Boo. Um, but yeah, we made the dean's list for them extra Somalians. Hip hip ho way. And with it being the end of the semester, I think it might be time to throw that party. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and throw a sports party. This exclusively came with university. So pretty much you just, you know, make sure you got the TV going, all that good stuff. We're going to invite Remington, Lauren, Yvette, Yvette, okay, uh, <laughs> sports party, you can invite two people, wow, wow, I mean, I get that there's, like, a lot of people here in the dorms and everything, but, wow, <laughs> that's, like, nobody at all, we'll just have to um, let's see, call Sim and invite Yvette over, because that is just ridiculous. And with the party going, the influence is definitely wanted. We're going to invite her over. So now, you know, we're going to, definitely there's going to be a fight. <laughs> definitely. Um, we're going to, let's see, can we do that? Not have a pillow fight. Dance with someone. None of these are, <laughs> I want it to be like, I want this girl to fight this girl. Like, that would be neat. You know what? I'm stealing your chairs and selling them. Remember, guys, A gave you a Christmas. I gave you the holidays. So I'll take what I want. Um, <laughs> so what we're going to go ahead and do is buy this teeny bitty teeny weeny little TV to put right here. Just, you know, to have that there. And because it's a party, we obviously need some party supplies. Hello. We're going to go ahead and buy a fruit bunch barrel, which is like Sims beer. They're going to get juiced. And we're also going to buy a lot of these <laughs> because I've never used them. Box noise, the thingies that you make noise with, obviously. Um, pop, pop, pop and pops. Poppy pops. So let's go ahead and get those. And these are sparklers. I want them all. <laughs> and whatever this is, I want you to. And we also have some edible chocolates. We have them all lined up so Sims from everywhere can eat some chocolate and get some sparklers and some poppers and some beer. Um, so, yeah, we just wasted a, a good chunk of simoleons on this stuff. But I know it'd be fun to kind of test it out. Amanda's just going to stuff her face with chocolate. This was actually a modded item. Oh, it looked like Lauren is ready to fight. Seen that? We should influence her to fight someone. <laughs> but let's go ahead and turn on the TV. So far, this party's a snoozer, just like me. Um, yeah, everybody's like doing homework and stuff. What's the fun of that? Let's go ahead and change it to the sports station. And I'm just going to invite, like, a bunch of people to come watch it with me. Um, ask Andrea to join. Ask, oops. Ask Lauren to join. Ask Remington to join. <laughs> Pretty much, why is this girl, like, invisible? She's like, you can't see me. Shh. Ask Jasmine to join. Why is Greg invisible? Ask Greg to join. Ask Gordon to join. Everybody, come watch some sports television. It's still a snoozer, but we're watching TV now. So, yes. Come on, guys, have a good time. Still a snoozer. No, that's the last thing I want. Okay, everybody needs to come dance. Because once people start dancing, it gets real. That's, you know, that's when you know it's a party. Let's muscle. Let's have everybody muscle. Let's muscle, everybody. Let's muscle, Greg. 
Let's muscle, you ghost. Let's muscle, BJ. Let's muscle, Adriana. Let's muscle, John Cho. Who are you? Oh, this is the guy. This is an NPC right here that when your sims are like getting, I don't know, out of shape, he will come here and make them do push-ups. He will make them do push-ups. My old math teacher used to make me do that. Just so you guys would, you guys know. If you would misbehave, like, I don't even know if this is illegal. He would make you go outside and, like, <laughs> like do push-ups and jumping jacks. And <laughs> I found it, like, the funniest thing ever. Wow, this party is a snoozer. Wow. Wow. But everybody's smuzzling. What are you talking about? This is totally not a snoozer. We have juice. We have poppers. We have everything. I should probably light that outside, but I don't care. I'm just going to light it in here. I'm going to light a firework in the dorms. See what happens. Yay! Oh, I can't wait till we have a family and it's summertime and we like... We do all this fun stuff. Let's go ahead and grab a random party favor. See if anybody else grabs one. Oh, look, it's one of those. How cool. Let's do a, a party popper. There's so many random poppers. There's a Christmas popper, a New Year popper. Man, I love this game. Wow, we're having a snoozing party. I'm just more concerned on this stuff over here. I don't even care about the party. Did the Christmas popper. Oh, these are so neat. Oh, they're so awesome. Grab some sparklers. Light them up. You guys have no idea how happy I was when The Sims 2 brought these back. I mean, when The Sims 3 brought these. You guys have no idea. I was like, yes. Came with seasons. I was literally the happiest person ever if you are going to ask me probably my top two expansion packs i would probably say generations and seasons but if i had to pick one it would probably be seasons just so much came with it you really don't think about it once you get used to it because you're like oh it's just winter time oh it's just fall time you know what i mean but it's like before that it was like constantly summer so i really do feel like seasons was the best expansion pack to this date Oh, wait, there is no more expansion packs. What am I talking about? <laughs> but yeah, I think it was an awesome, awesome expansion pack. Alrighty, guys, so that's the end of this part here. We just threw a really horrible party, spent a bunch of money on party supplies that nobody used. Um, so, yeah. It also looks like uh, somebody was drinking a Limerita. You see that right there? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we finished our first half of junior year and pretty soon we're going to be seniors. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I love you all so much. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Bye guys.